my favorite is Europa. Europa is a, one of the moons of Jupiter. It's icy on the surface, but the stress from Jupiter's gravity pumps energy into Europa, melting that ice. So there's an ocean of liquid water. It's been liquid for billions of years. On Earth, any place we find liquid water, we find life. So one of NASA's edicts is to follow the water. Maybe you'll find life. I want to go to Europa, cut a hole in the ice, drop a camera and see if anything swims up to the lens and licks it. Yeah. That, so uh, Europa is very high on my list. There's another moon, one of the moons of Saturn. Saturn has a moon, one of the largest moons in the solar system called Titan. Titan has an atmosphere. It's a moon with an atmosphere. That's cool. Uh, it's got an atmosphere. It's very cold. So water is completely frozen solid. I mean, we call it ice, but on that moon's surface, it's the bedrock of the landscape. Well, at those temperatures, what else happens? Gases that we're familiar with in gaseous form have liquefied. There are liquid lakes of methane. Methane is that gas that comes out of your stove. On Titan, the methane has liquefied the rivers of methane, lakes of methane. Who is to say that there isn't life based on liquid methane? Just as here we are life based on the liquids available to us.